Quesadillas. Oh, wow. When I say the word quesadilla, what does it make you think of? Exactly. Mexican food. Now, unfortunately, here in the Netherlands, Mexican food just ain't a thing, man. You gotta run a damn real authentic Mexican street food. Unfortunately, it's just not a thing here. The vendors on the street ain't a thing here. So today, we're gonna be making cheesy quesadilla. So enjoy this video. <laughs> You'll need cheese. And for the chicken, we're gonna be making veggie chickens and some pepper bells. No joke, this actually tastes like chicken. Wow, that is pretty insane. I'm not even kidding. This on a quesadilla or burrito taco, perfect replacement veggie. I mean, look at that. Doesn't that look amazing? Wow, I cannot wait to feast upon this beauty of a quesadilla. Now let's go ahead and eat. This veggie quesadilla looks honestly insane. I'm very excited to eat this because I haven't had quesadilla in a while. We got a nice drink. I tried to see if they got Mexican drinks. Not a thing here. So uh, let's pour in our drink without sugar because that's how we want it. Low calories, no sugar. That's the life to go. We got a quesadilla. So let's do this. All right. Damn, it's been a while since we sat there. Let's do this. Um, got a quesadilla today. Honestly, like I said in the intro, Mexican spots, they're just not a thing in the Netherlands. And it's very frustrating for someone, for a white person, who would love to try out food. Authentic. Now, obviously, we got Taco Mundo, but that's all the way at Rotterdam, The Hague. That's an hour or two traveling for me in total. And, then, you know, the food's called. Why should I do that if I can make it homemade? <laughs> Alright, I'm going to just go into this. Wow. Now I know pepper bells. Some people would question, mm, I'm not sure about that one. I like to add it as an optional thing. Because I like pepper bells. Wow. That vegetarian chicken. Holy crap. You gotta try it, it's really good. Amazing. <laughs> wow. Oh man, I've been craving a quesadilla for months. Uh, actually, for weeks. Mm -mm -mm. It's something about this cheese, this certain type of cheese that just melts perfect. Low heat, two, three minutes per, per side. I like it a little bit brown with a little bit of white mixed into it. A little bit of salsa, as you can see. Um, yeah, basically there. I'm going to eat slow, otherwise the video is going to be short. Wow. And what I also like, that infused chili oil really goes good into the chicken. But look at it, though. It's even got like the chicken type white stuff. That's, I mean, that's incredible, right? I'm gonna eat just a piece. Dude, I'm not fucking around. <laughs> this tastes like uh, McDonald's chicken nuggets. Some people would argue and say, it's a bad thing. I think it's a good thing. Speaking about McDonald's, about two weeks ago, right? When I, you know, to heat up my car theory. I went to the McDonald's afterwards as a, you know, celebration. Mm. Oh man, it's so warm today. Not even kidding. I'm gonna go for a swim. 
We're gonna go th th swimming third time today. Who cares? It's nice, it's refreshing. But as I was saying, right, um, I went to McDonald's. They have a Mac Honey wrap. Damn, expensive. What the fuck's up with McDonald's at the moment? A wrap? How's a how's a wrap gonna cost five euro? For a fucking wrap with a little bit of chicken and, and, and lettuce on it. How's it five bucks? Dude, that's overpriced. I can tell you right now, this is maybe ten bucks. Well, how much? I got a question for my genuine Mexican Spanish out there. How much do they charge for quesadillas at your authentic Mexican street vendor or whatever? Like one quesadilla. I think it's like five euro here if you want to take away. And dollars is about five twenty, five fifty. Mm. I gotta buy a barbecue as well soon. I want a barbecue. Just why not? Barbecue might be. Also, a lot of people suggest shrimp and tacos. I don't know. I mean, it probably tastes pretty good, I'd assume, but I've never had shrimp. Seafood, before I went vegetarian, wasn't a huge fan of it, never was. But I've always wanted to try a seafood boil, but, bang, but. dude, the crab here is expensive. It's a delicatessen, so you can only find it at like, you know, like northern of Holland, south of Holland, like at the ocean and stuff. Oh man. This is amazing. Like I said, I've been bulking lately. Swimming. Footballing. Yeah, what I like about it is the fact the cheese isn't through. See, I don't like cheese that is super melted. I like when it's a bit sticky. Yeah. Wow. Should have filled it up better though, my fault. Yeah, a little tortilla. Wow. <laughs> Bry salt. South Afrikaans Bry salt. The way I pronounce this South Afrikaans Bry salt. South Afrikaans. It's the only way I can pronounce it. I can't announce it different. The salsa you can make homemade. You can make. Uh, Avocado sauce, guacamole. Wait, yeah, it is made from avocado. My bad. Not a big fan of it though, but I like to make it. Wow. Mm -mm. Wow! 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 I have no words. I mean, what can I say? It just tastes great. Mm. Yeah, you can have a cheese quesadilla. Kind of boring though. Add a little bit of vegetables. No lettuce, but you can put beans on it. Put rice, but then it becomes the burrito, obviously. Ow. I might have this for dinner later or, or breakfast. No kizzy. By the way, I don't know what to speak about, so <laughs> we might end it in a couple minutes. I don't know what to speak in this video. I mean, not much has happened this week, honestly. It's been cool. But my parents, what is this supposed to mean? It's like numbers. Hmm. Does it mean we're gonna die? Maybe. Yeah, it's been. Yeah, it's been a good week. I mean, there's nothing else you need to add. I've been alone this whole week, so, you know, Mother's Day was cool, this and this and that, but I wanted some peace this week, so I thought I'd stay here for a while. Mm. I like this one with no sugar, and why I, I choose a sugar one is actually an interesting fact. Look at this. It has put 250 milliliters, so a whole glass of this, right? Three calories. That's fucking insane. Three calories, huh? So there's about 20 calories in this whole bottle. Um, yeah. 
15 calories that's not bad there's no fat no saturates no carbohydrates no sugar no protein which isn't it's pretty normal drinks but you don't have that but it has salt which is really weird but that's cool this is great for when you're on a diet or you know just like me because sugar you know sugar gains weight well in a sort of in a, in a way of if you let's say you drink one of these every single day like 1.5 liters every day like 50.7 ounces of these a day I know that because it says it on the bottle that's how otherwise I wouldn't know but do I have sauce in my nose yeah I do um, and you don't you don't exercise and you eat like high portions high calorie food in a few days you'll see you'll gain a couple kilo straight up and yeah I do bulk sometimes I eat a shit though and I'm like fuck I gotta lose weight so I'm like, alright, let it rest, exercise for half an hour football. It's pretty intense, running off the ball. Chasing it in the field. Pretty cool. You know, I wonder, right? Can you make this homemade? I feel like you can. It's probably just a little bit of flour and, you, and a bit of wood and that's it actually. Tortillas are easy to make, really. I'm pretty full, I'm not gonna lie, this is great. Good protein. Good for when I'm gonna sport later. Mm. Wow, wow, wow. Mm, mm, mm. It's, nah. Let me grab a piece of that fake chicken. Oh, I lied. It actually sort of does smell like chicken. It's insane, dude, what vegetarian shit is now this. I mean... <laughs> you know like chicken tenders? Like, you know, the KFC ones? It tastes and smells like them. Insane. I'm being dead ass honest. Wow. Really good. No, it's not vegan though. We're gonna have to, you know, disappoint you. If you're a vegan, you can't have it because it got, I think it's got milk in it. Or egg. One of the two. Maybe both. Mmm. 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 Wow. <laughs> oh yeah, I know in America they got like 100 ounce bottles. You guys got like the Coca Cola is I think only like 1.5 liter max here. I don't think we have two liters here. 2.5 or three liters are not a thing here. I don't know what the reason could be for it. Honestly, I don't know. I guess they just don't make them for the European market. I really don't know. I couldn't tell you why. Mm. Wow, this whole bottle is 18 calories. Fuck, that is nothing. Holy shit, that is actually nothing. Wow, I've stopped also. You know, I've, I've stopped drinking smoothies. It's a load of fucking horseshit smoothies. It's look, yeah, obviously you sometimes need sugar. But don't fuck around and use fake sugar. But use real sugar, like eat an apple. You know, um, like when it comes to candy, for me, I gotta have it sugared. I've had vegan candy in the past with no sugar, and I eat the whole bag. And I had diarrhea the whole fucking day. Like, sugar free candy? Mm mm. You should never eat that. Take a couple of candy and you gotta take a shit the whole day. You got diarrhea. That's what I had last time and I haven't done it in months. But yes, you need to also diversify your diet. You can't, you know, eat this and this only. Sometimes, you know, you gotta say, you know what, fuck it, it's a cheat day. Eat a couple hundred calories for a chocolate bar. Chocolate bar as well. Uh, sugar free for me. I don't like the, I don't like the sugar in the candy bar, like the chocolate bar itself. It's too sweet for me. 
some products really do taste better without sugar. Some, you know, you have to have sugar because otherwise it tastes crap. Like natural candy bars, all bullshit, all out of horseshit. Sugar is not necessary. And it's the exact same with these type of things. You know, you, why, why, what difference does it make that you can still enjoy it but have no concern about gaining weight because it's no calories and it's no sugar? It's fantastic. This is what I've been drinking lately with just really water. Like, obviously, once in a while, I have an apple juice. Because, you know, once in a while, I do crave it. It's like, all right. Oh, is that my neighbor? What is it? Okay. Don't appear like they're saying much. Anyway, so we're going to end this mukbang video. Really hope you all enjoyed this video. And i catch you guys in two and a half, three days. Uh, let me know what you want to see next time for, for mukbang video, potentially. So, yeah, check you guys later, man.